beauty is the only option. Hello my little M&Ms, I'm Maddox Madison and today we're going to do a wig review on this wig right here that's giving me some Kardashian realness. Her name is Suri. She is by Free Trust Equal and she is in the color P1B30. She's giving you nice, long, deep waves. Dark, you know I never wear hair this dark. No glue, no tape necessary. They say baby hairs, but I kind of brush them into the longer hair because I'm not a big fan of baby hairs. But the wig is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, I feel like it's giving me some Kardashian realness. I actually added hair to this. So you'll see a before, but right now this is the after. So... I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let's get on with it. Hey what's up, I just need to enter this right here. I forgot to mention during the video taping that I got this hair from hairsisters.com. It's again free trust equal Suri and the shipping was fast. They do same day shipping. They're based in Illinois so I got the hair two days later. It was quick and fast and I just wanted to enter that and thank hairsisters.com. <laughs> so back to the tutorial. Okay, so for this tutorial, you are going to need a comb and a brush. I like to use the combs, the brushes like this with the spiky bristles with the balls at the end and a wide tooth comb. Scissors, some hairpins, these like this. I use a styrofoam head. And last but certainly not least, you're going to need your wig. Okay, so we're going to take her out of the package. She comes in a hairnet. Okay, here she is. She's a nice loose curl. <clears throat> <clears throat> What's wrong with my voice? You can obviously see the sh streaks in the hair. She has the regular hard lace. As you can see, it's very transparent though. Inside, she has two clips, two small clips in the front, one large clip in the back, the drawstrings here in the back. The nape area also has some baby hairs. And it's very flat, so I'm assuming they think you can like put it in a ponytail or something. A very small amount of baby hairs in the front. But I'm I'm not really a baby hair kind of person, so I never really use them. Now you're going to see why you need the clips. So I place it on the styrofoam wig head because we're going to cut the lace off. And so you don't cut any of the hair. You brush the hair back and you take your clips. So what I like to do is take the clips and just clip the hair so it stays back like so. As you can see I've pinned all the hair back. I've used one, two, three, four, five, six pins just to pin the hair away from the lace. Slip the wig back off of the wig head. Take my scissor and I start at the corner because it has like a loose flap of lace. Some people like to leave like an inch of lace or a quarter, quarter of an inch of lace. I used to do that a lot but now I just really I just cut right up to the hairline. It's all depending on what you want to do. And really take your time because once you make a mistake, the lace is not growing back. <laughs> okay, so I've cut off all the lace. And now you can fix your wig cap. <laughs> not going to use glue or tape today. So what I like to do usually... I've done this before in videos you've seen, is take 
a long piece of stocking and wrap it around and tie it in the back. Tie a knot in the back. Now this is good for if you don't have, because I don't have hair on the sides and I don't have hair in the back and my hair on the top is braided down so if I wanted to pin there would be nothing to pin to so this is a good technique to use if you don't have any hair to pin to and now I'm just gonna try the wig on just start from the back I like to put fingers here stretch it a little that's what the stretch is for lift and pull over your stocking cap I have not done the drawstrings because I'm trying it on for the first time. Okay. Before we take the pins out, you can see the hairline. A decent dip. Some of the hairlines on lace fronts are so outrageous and so fake looking. It's like a a U. <laughs> but this has some dips here. Now we can take the pins out. Woo! As I was cutting the lace, I noticed that there's only about an inch, inch and a half of parting space, but we'll see how that looks in a minute. Oh, it's long. To my chest area. Whew. The hair is very, ooh, very soft. Let's see this parting space, if any. That's literally like not even an inch. So this is a oh, P1B30. And the 30 is the highlights. It has some layers. As you can see, some shorter layers. The parting is about maybe an inch. It's longer than what I thought it was going to be. Look at it in the back. I measured the length of the hair. It's about 20 inches soft 1b 30 and I mean she's not as full as I would like her to be but luckily for me I bought some extra hair to add to her I've done this before in a video you should check that out because it's a full video on how to add hair to a lace front and I'm gonna add hair to Miss Suri and I'll be back Okay, before I add the hair, I totally, like, blanked in whatever. What you'll need is weaving thread and a weaving needle. It's kind of curved. Can you see that? And weaving thread is thicker than regular thread that you, like, use on clothes. And I bought hair from Free Trust Equal um, 1B30 because this is a 1B30. And it's a little shorter than this hair because this hair is... 20 inches which I discovered and this hair is only 18 but since this hair has layers I think it'll be fine let's get started first of all you need to take the wig off Whew. okay so like I said I was adding hair to this lace front wig and the hair that I was adding is free trust equal weave and the style is romance it's 18 inch P 1B 30, just like the wig. This is what the package looks like. So I have the wig here on the wig head. I had it pinned to the wig head, so I'm going to unpin it. I already have a video on how to add hair, so check that video out, and we're going to see the difference. We do. It 
it's much fuller. She looks gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I'm not, I'm still not used to me with hair this dark, but I love the 30 in this 1B. And I've been wanting some really dark hair. So here it is. And I hope you enjoyed this review and tutorial. And remember, until next time, beauty is the only option. <laughs> Windblown. Beauty is the only option. <laughs> if you hear someone laughing, it's because my friend Ross is in the background and he's being an asshole.